Have you been wanting to meet new people, perhaps for new dating opportunities, perhaps uh, simply to meet new friends? But the idea of starting a conversation or approaching people just frightens you. Perhaps you just got out of a relationship or you've just never been social and might be a little bit introverted. Now, today I wanna share with you four tips on how to be more social, increase your social skills, as well as lower your social anxiety and, uh, and increase your confidence and comfort when you are starting conversations with strangers. Hey there, it's Felipe, founder of the Social Buddha Method. So first of all, I wanna share with you that I struggle with social anxiety and starting conversations with people, especially with attractive women for many, many years. And, uh, and so I'm very excited to share with you today the four tips, the four secrets and keys that helped me get to the next level when it came to socializing, when it came to starting conversations and just being uh, a social master, if you will, when it came to uh, starting conversations uh, as well as making connections. So uh, check it out. All right, tip number one is create the right mindset and the right perspective for yourself when you're starting conversations. In other words, you want to get over your limiting beliefs about she doesn't want to talk to me, he doesn't want to talk to me, I'm going to get rejected, I don't know what to say next, they're on their way somewhere. Whatever stuff is going on in your mind that's limiting you, you want to reframe it and say, everyone loves talking to me and in fact, I have to end the interactions first because they won't stop talking. And regardless of whether they're with friends, with whoever they are or wherever they're going, they love talking to me. So again, you want to create that type of mindset. You also want to be coming from a place of giving. And so in other words, you want to be there to give a good time, get a, give a smile, better someone's day, improve their day, uh, and that sort of thing. And so with all of this, you want to really, before you even step out of, out of the house, you want to visualize how your day is going to be, how you're going to be, how you're going to be saying hello to strangers, and how you're going to be... In, starting conversations at that coffee shop or at that restaurant or at that event that you're going to visualize yourself doing that as well as it going well because you begin to practice for success that is the number one thing actually in fact athletes use it all the time to better their game so you want to do that um and also the other thing i want to mention is that your mind cannot tell the difference between what is happening you know in your mind and what's actually happening so in fact if you have social anxiety it will pop up when you begin to imagine this stuff. So you are actually training yourself to be comfortable with that anxiety and to reduce it and to really begin to picture success and begin to picture this as effortless rather than, than an effort. All right, the second tip to being more social and starting conversations is to simply practice eye contact. Practice making eye contact with strangers and smiling. You can always, you know, kind of wave and that kind of stuff. I do that all the time. Uh, it, I, I used to feel anxiety doing that. I used to feel um, a little bit of uh, nervousness. I have no feeling of that whatsoever anymore. And in fact, many people say they have approach anxiety when it comes to, you know, a lot of people um, recommend the three second rule and all that. You don't really need it. In fact, I recommend that you start conversations naturally. So if you're, you know, if you're talking, if you want to meet a guy or you want to meet a woman, you can always just practice being social with everyone. And how do you do that? You can just do it in the streets. Just say hello to people. You're walking by, say, hey, how's it going? Or do this or just practice making eye contact. You can start with, you know, smaller steps like eye contact and just smiling uh, if that's comfortable for you. But I would recommend recommend taking those steps um, by just greeting strangers, even with a nod or something like that, if you want to go uh, and start with smaller steps. So that's tip number two. In addition to these two tips that I just mentioned, I want to mention that I also created a video on how to increase your self-esteem and your confidence. This is powerful because it's all energy. It's all your vibe that you're putting out. So many times, honestly, you don't even have to initiate conversations with strangers. You, get, you will get approached if you have the right vibe. Anyway, that's, uh, that's in another video that you can uh, check out on my channel. Um, but other than that, um, that's my second tip. Let's go on to tip number three. 
All right, tip number three is have something to say. Now, there is a very simple way to start any conversation and be very, very natural about it. And the best way is a situational conversation starter. And it's simply this. How is everything or how is X, Y, or C? In terms of you might be at a restaurant, you might be at a coffee shop, uh, wherever you are, you might say, hey, how's the, um, how's the pizza? How's the dish? How is the coffee? How is, how's the workout going? If you're at a gym, for example. And that's it. That's very simple. You just say, hey, how's this? Um, you can also um, ask for directions, even if you know where you're going. This is not about the person or about getting something from them. This is about simply practicing being social. So you can simply ask, you know, a question or simply ask a situational question like that. All right. All right. Tip number four is be in the moment. Be present when you're in the conversation. So when you're starting a, a new conversation, um, let go of any agenda, let go of anything that you're thinking about what to say next and all that kind of stuff. Simply practice one step at a time. Practice at first waving at people or making eye contact. Then practice, um, what's it called? Starting the conversation. Then practice having a conversation so that you are not all in your head because that will that will actually stunt your growth and it will make um, your learning curve a lot uh, larger. So be present and be genuinely interested in that person. Be genuinely interested in what they're about. Be genuinely interested in what they have to say. Now, one of the things that I hear the most as far as, especially from people that are more introverted, is that they hate small talk. So the way to be present and the way to be passionate in the conversation and to be really interested is to begin to direct the conversation into a topic that you're interested in. How do you do that? Begin to ask questions and see if anything that they talk about interests you, and then you direct the conversation into that. For example, you might say, you know, something as simple and common as, what are you into? What's your story? Whatever it might be. Maybe they talk about, for example, for me, maybe they talk about that they like meditation. And I'm like, wow, what kind of meditation do you do? And then you go into that topic as opposed to any kind of small talk. Um, and so that's a way to do that. I'm going to be making a video on small talk and how to, you know, how to avoid it and how to make it more profound as well as how to have a conversation and things to talk about in one of my upcoming videos. So check that out. Uh, but for now, again, this fourth tip is be present and be genuinely interested in the person and in the conversation or even in the interaction. Even if you don't have a conversation, just be present. That is incredibly powerful. In fact, listening is one of the most important gifts you can give to someone. So definitely try that out and um, let me know how it works. All right, those were my four tips on how to be more social, more um, outgoing when it comes to meeting new people, whether it's for dating, whether it's for just socializing and bringing more friends into your life. Those tips are going to take you very far, especially if you do the internal mindset and visualization stuff. Uh, now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the, uh, the bell button so you can see all the notifications when I'm releasing these videos week by week. Um, and also, if you have any questions or anything like that, put them down below and I'll personally answer them. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.